Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got the last of the big Raya and the Last Dragon sets. This one actually features Sisu as a dragon, hence the name of the set being Raya and Sisu Dragon, which just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Okay, there are 216 pieces in here. It has that Disney surcharge on it, so it is $45 here in Australia, so it's, but it's not, it's like a medium sized set. I'm trying to mangle this open with the security seal on it, but we've got it open! That's what matters. So let's have a look. What do we got? What do we need? We need all the pieces. <gasps> we need Sisu's head. Sisu is a dragon. A Sisu is an Asian dragon, so and they have a particular look and oh, translucent horn. I like it. So, two bags and we have got two books. I'm going to assume one for each bag, maybe not, but one for each separate build. <laughs> Lovely stickers. I've loved the stickers for these Raya sets. And a shimmery plastic sheet thing with the cutouts for the tail and the Sisu flowy bits. Now, in here we actually only have one mini doll and it is Raya. We have already seen Raya before in the Heart Palace set, but this Raya is just slightly different and I'll talk about that in a moment, but oh my gosh, this is still... <sighs> One of my favorite mini dolls of all times. The Raya mini dolls have just, the, the, I can't even speak. The printing, everything's just been knocked out of the park. They're gorgeous. She's got the wobbly sword that we saw in the uh, in the Heart Palace set, which you guys told me was cool and I've forgotten right now while I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to talk about the set. And we have the map. So the map of all the lakes, which has been included in all of the sets so far. I'm wondering if it's actually included in the poly bag. I'll have to check out when I can get my hands on that poly bag. Now, this is the Raya from the Heart set, the Heart Palace set. She's got boots on so and a cape. I mean, the capes are given, but the bottom part is entirely exclusive for these two different versions of Raya, so that's cool. Okay, so Raya is shoeless at the moment, and now, now I'm going to assume we are straight into building Sisu. Sisu, I just love saying Sisu. And Sisu is all bendy and sinewy and tendony, and this long tail bit here is brand new and it's so cool. And the trunk pieces, like the those blue trunk bits are trunks. They, they, we, we use them initially for tree trunks and they're only reasonably new too. So they're being used for so many different things in the Lego sets. Very, very versatile. Makes a, like a snaky kind of Asian dragon body just nicely. Right, so we've got a good amount of body going on here now. Looks very snaky, which is correct. And now we get to put on the first of our shimmery pieces. This is, I'm always, I'm always very careful about pulling these out, but I do know that Lego has made sure that they're quite plasticky and sturdy enough to be pulled out without ripping them, but I still, I'm still careful. So this goes over here over the technique, over the technique rod and on over the ball joints on the side. And lo, we have, this just uh, softens up the sinuous, I think I really like that, that word today, the sinuous body shape of Sisu. Ah, <laughs> Sisu's sinuous snake body. Ah, alliteration, my favorite thing. Right, this now is, oh gosh, you know, it's been so long since I have built an elves dragon and this is just reminiscent of building the elves legs. No, the dragon's legs, obviously. You don't build the elves' legs, you make the dragon's legs. And these are, once again, quite obviously, Sisu's legs. And this is the one for the other side. It's just a mirror image of the one we did before. Clicks onto the ball joint very nicely. So this dragon is reasonably articulated. We'll check that out in a moment. And this now looks like another leg. How many legs did Sisu have? I didn't pay any attention. I'm gonna assume four. Four would be a common amount for a dragon's legs, right? Unless it's one of those, oh, there is a dragon that only has two legs, but that's not the Asian dragons. And I cannot remember what they're called. Wyverns? Is it Wyverns that are the dragons that only have two legs? I think it is, but you are more than welcome to correct me. Tell me in the comments. So these are the front legs for Sisu. Sisu front legs. Sisu's front legs. <laughs> I just like saying Sisu. Sisu, Sisu, Sisu. And now we're making some little sandwiches on clips. Four little sandwiches on clips. They're not sandwiches. These are Cecil's tulsies. Cecil's tulse go on each of her foots. <laughs> Foot scissors, my feet. And then, then we can check out how how she looks when we actually stand her up. She's nice. Look at that. So we can stand her up, and I actually think that she 
Yeah, I, I think that she'll look better with a head. So let's do that. Let's have a look at this head, which we looked at very, very briefly before. The horn is, is slightly soft and bendy. So when you step on it, you do not put a full hole through your foot because Lego is perfectly capable of doing that. And they try to avoid doing that with pointy things. Trying to get her jaw on. I'm uh, just not so great at this. There we go. Now she's got a jaw. That's lovely. It's very delicate. A very delicate lower jaw. Let's put this up here on the Technique pin and see how she looks with her head on. It's She's quite head heavy, but she's supposed to be. She's an Asian dragon. So long and I'm going to say it again, sinewy. And she looks less strange when you kind of angle her around because she's always supposed to be in motion. You'll notice that in the movie, she's always in motion as a dragon, always twisting and turning. So she looks better when she actually looks as though she's in movement. Now it's time to put her tail piece onto the ball joints. And this would have been preferable if we could have this like double-sided. How hard is it to print these double-sided Lego? Is it a possibility? Could you do it? I mean, the gold on the other side is actually quite nice, but the printed side is nicer. Is it possible? Make it happen. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> never say never. There is no try. Do or do not. Right, so I'm busy trying to fiddle around with it. I like that best. Right, so I want to have a look at her next to the actual Sisu mini doll, which comes in Boone's boat. So we've got the two Sisus and we are up to bag number two. Just a reminder, the second Sisu does not come in this set. Bit sad there. The only way to get her is by building Boone's boat. Once again, alliteration plus. Now, we are making some blue bits here with a path, a very nice little path. Some turquoise rocks. Oh, I think we have turquoise rocks in the, do we have turquoise, those angle pieces in the heart palace? I think we did. And this is the waterfall. The waterfall, which might be on the way to where the dragon gem's being stored. So this is cool. This is actually designed to flip open. I like that. I like a little moving feature. So these pins go into the light yellow bricks with the holes in them. They go up here on top of the pillars and I've done that incorrectly. Let's try that again. There we go. So now that does a fabulous spin up and over. But I don't know whether it'll do that for very long. Gold shield pieces to make some lovely embellishments. It's going to match in really, really nicely with the heart palace. Gold columns going up. And now we have to make an arch at the top and obviously we need to make this all look heart palace-y because this actually ties in with the heart palace. You can attach it to it. So we will do that at the end. So what do we got up here? We've got some gold platformy things with some yellow pins in them to do what? I would never have thought to do that. That's clever. I didn't even think that those went into each other like that. And with a Gem on the top. This is revolutionary to me. Is that even a word or is it revolutionary? It's a revelation and it's revolutionary. So they go up here on the yellow pins and this now does not actually flip up very high at all. I wonder if we can even fit right through. We'll try. And on either side of the waterfall are some gem lotuses. And now I think we're done with this bit. These are our extra pieces at the end of that bag. We've still got another bag to go. So let's see if I can sneak Raya through this. Yeah, she fits. Her hat can hold it upright. <laughs> Okay, it's cool. Actually, I don't think that one does attach to the heart palace. It's not a way to attach it. It must be the next bit. This can be all integrated though as part of the play elements of the heart palace. This part is going to be an extension to the heart palace. That's cool. We're using the little gold flowers just to prop up those pieces with the hole in them. A-frames to make it angled. And let's see what this bit's going to go. We got a hook. This is the part that we are actually going to be able to attach it on. This looks very reminiscent of those big connecting platform things for the heart palace, even though it does look a little bit like a rocket ship on its side. Now we get to use these big stickers. We need to put one on the top and one on the bottom. That's just, <laughs> that's just mean. We can just put two stickers on the one panel. That's truly cruel Lego, but I've done okay on that side. Let's see if I can replicate it for the other side. How am I going? It's a very interesting interpretation of the dragons. They've got some bodge. Ah, oh, I did that. I did that dodgily. Let's, let's just pull that off and try. There we go. Now it's not poking through the window. They look so spectacular when they're on. So elegant. Yellow hinges. I don't have any yellow hinges. Don't think that's actually new for this set, but it's certainly new for me. Yellow hinges, I can use them. Okay, and on the top we have an, it's definitely a door frame we've created here. Oh, and we add this teal door frame, the peaked one that we're seeing in all of the Raya sets. 
It's so pretty. All the colors, these colors just go so beautifully together. The gold, the light bright yellow, the teal, and even the blue, <laughs> even the blue she throws in. Cause I don't like that shade of blue, but it goes really nicely with the rest. Okay, making a matching embellishing, embellishing, an embellishment on the top to match in with the actual heart palace. Now we see, ah, so in here we have got another, I think this is supposed to be the dragon gem. The dragon gem, and it's been put in this box, which keeps it extra safe with a lovely lotus sticker on top. Oh, we're hiding it up there, are we? Okay. Okay, that's a good that's a good idea. Let's not leave it out in the open where people can just, you know, randomly come in and look at it and then try and steal it, because that's a terrible security plan. Over here on these little yellow jumpers plate things, we actually have a plate stand. And on the other side, we have got a, it's kind of like a little shrine, isn't it? We've got a candle on one side and an offering plate on the other side and on the outside some very strangely colored foliage which matches in with the rest of the colors and this uh, coral colored coral <laughs> which uh, I think I've just broken the universe. Coral, 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 coral and yeah so there, there are lovely foliage embellishments. We actually have got some pointy bits, a spare pointy bit and I think we're at the end of this yeah these are our extra pieces and we actually have a spare dragon gem which would have just meant this whole story didn't even need to happen because all you needed really was a spare so let's go and see where this goes obviously it's getting on the front of the heart palace so it clicks in here on that hinge that was just sitting there waiting as though it had been planned in advance by lego which was i don't know where this waterfall is supposed to go maybe it's is yeah maybe it's what you come through through this walkway maybe I think maybe you can put it where you want put it where you want that's your prerogative that's basically what you get to do as the owner of the sets it looks great with the addition though it just looks much more complete okay this is the last one there is a poly bag with raya in it i'm still waiting to see whether i can get my hands on it but i'm wondering whether lego is going to make any more raya and the last dragon sets because i don't know how much of a success the movie has been in retrospect if it's a huge success we get more sets can you imagine this in the disney storybook form with all of the characters in micro doll imagine sisu is a micro doll oh that would be amazing all right i really do hope that we see this <laughs> Please make it happen, universe. Okay, I gotta go now. Ah, oh, dream happy thoughts of Sisu micro dolls. <laughs> Subscribe, do all the things, leave me comments and stuff. I'll be back with another video really soon. So see you then. <laughs> Bye.